Hi you guys, it's Jamie from Whatever's Clever Boutique and I'm so excited to share with you guys this super fun winter mug. We're gonna start with a 30 ounce camper mug from Craft Haven and I'm going to take my blue pop of color paint, really any acrylic paint or spray paint will work here, and base paint over the entire tumbler. take Glacier from Chase Ray Creations. This is the most gorgeous glitter. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a second coat of paint here. And once I finish painting on this second coat, I'm gonna go straight in with that Glacier glitter and cover the entire tumbler. Seriously, look at how gorgeous this glitter is. Once we finish that, we're gonna go in with two coats of epoxy. And once that's cured, we're going to go and tape off our handle, because I wanna have that exposed after I spray paint. And then I'm gonna lay my icicles that I found on Creative Fabrica across the top. One of my all-time favorite Tumblr creators, Mallory from Made by Manny and Mal, recommended this stencil vinyl for doing peekaboos, and it is absolutely amazing. It pulls up so flawlessly, yet also sticks enough to where paint doesn't seep under the vinyl. I'll link it down in the description below. Icicles. We're going to go in with our painter's tape and just we're going to go across the rim to make sure nothing is exposed for when we spray paint. Then I'm going to go in with the little snowflakes and here is the transfer sheet I'm going to use and I kind of want to see where it's going to sit on the cup and not put snowflakes there. So I'm just going to focus on the middle slash top area for these snowflakes since the transfer is going to cover the majority of the bottom. Now I'm going to go in with my Rust-Oleum 2 times flat white spray paint. And I apologize, my camera was not on, so you missed the super satisfying part of me pulling the icicles. <laughs> but you see the end result, it is so pretty. And now I'm removing the cute little snowflakes. These precision tip tweezers from CC DIY are so amazing. The tip is just so small that for like the snowflakes, it can get into just the right little nooks without scratching the paint. one coat of epoxy and I added some bright from peachy olive glitters into my epoxy to kind of give off the effect that the spray paint is actually glitter. Mm -hmm. 
Now this step is totally optional, but I actually went in and created outlines for my icicles and went around and laid those over the peekaboo. It just adds so much dimension to this tumbler. Now we're gonna go in with our transfers. I use these really pretty winter scene transfers from Southern Belle Glitter. I thought they would go perfect with this tumbler. I actually created this tumbler for a tumbler swap and my recipient was Stacy from Lily Bean Crafts and her wish list said she liked pastel Christmas. So this is kind of what I came up with. So I lined up those transfers to see how they were gonna fit on the tumbler and then I started applying them. So I press down and then I take my burnishing stick and make sure it's completely adhered to the tumbler. Now I slowly peel out my transfer for this reason. You'll see here that I hit a spot where it's not completely adhered. So I was able to push it back down and burnish just that spot a little bit more. It's almost like these transfers were made for this tumbler size actually. <laughs> so I went in with the one for the back side and it didn't match up perfectly on the front but I took the two little trees you see to the right there and I cut them in half here you'll see in a minute and it wrapped around the tumbler seamlessly turned out so great. The handle area with this transfer gave me a little bit of a headache, but I just kind of kept working at it and pushing it down and eventually it laid flat. Now I'm cutting out those little trees that I was talking about earlier. And I'm just going to lay them in between the transfers we already have laid. In doing this, it kind of created the full winter scene across the bottom of the tumbler. me say this 10 times but I absolutely love this <laughs> I felt like a little more was needed around the white area of the tumbler so I took these little snowflakes from this other sheet from Southern Belle glitter now you totally don't have to do this but I just felt like it needed a little bit more other than just the peekaboo snowflakes so this added a little bit of dimension to the tumbler as well as the icicles
Now I'm going to go in with one coat of epoxy. Look at how pretty that holographic vinyl is on those icicles. time for our decal. So I got this really pretty Marian Bright decal from Lettered by Stephanie on Etsy. And I created an offset and I used the holographic vinyl that we used on the icicles. And then the top layer I used a navy blue. These little pieces gave me a hard time so I just laid them separate. <laughs> And that's okay, sometimes laying it in multiple steps is fine. Just like the little um, dots on the eyes, I picked them up with my X-Acto knife, laid them separate. This vinyl just didn't want to work with me today. Norma Jean from Peachy Olive Glitters and I am actually going to lay a coat of epoxy onto the tumbler and then I'm going to mix some of that Norma Jean into another medicine cup with some epoxy and I'm going to lay it on with a gloved finger so I have more control over where the glitter goes. I do spend quite a bit of time epoxying my handle being sure I get all those little nooks and crannies and that there's no bare spots. avoid the decal area when I apply the Norma Jean epoxy to the tumbler but I'm just radically adding this for even more dimension on the tumbler. Don't forget to go in with your torch after this step. We created quite a few air bubbles when applying the epoxy with the added glitter. After the epoxy cured, I went in and did my final sand, and then I went in with my final coat of epoxy. And here is our end result. guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope Stacy loves her tumbler I had so much fun creating this and I love tumbler swaps for this reason it kind of gets your creative juices flowing because it's sort of a custom order but you also have the creative freedom to do whatever you'd like with the wish list you are given so I absolutely love how this turned out if you enjoyed what you saw here today feel free to like subscribe or even comment below and hit that bell button if you want to be notified anytime I post new content thank you so much and have a fabulous weekend